Welcome back, fans and friends, for this upcoming video. I have closely related to this, so this will be uh, the green light vintage ads. This is a 396 version of the Chevy Nova or Chevy 2, as it is also known as. You can see there Nova, uh, the SS badge. Unfortunately, nothing on license plate. So, like I said, I already covered this one, so I'm not going to cover it too much further. Uh, 396 and so for today I do actually have a different version of that car two versions but the first version that will be coming up in this video is a Greenland's constant competitor this is the however it is for three years newer the 1967 Chevy Nova SS there is no uh, engine badge for it so there is a bunch of engines offered in that uh, year not limited to the 194 all the way to the 327 and the 327 turbo fire i'm hoping the last one's in the one that's in this but you can see there nova ss inserts for lights so they've done quite a few good things so for the wheels look okay we have chevrolet 14 plus 1967 uh chevy 2 nova super sport so there is everything else you can see there just the writing on the back of the car done reasonably well it'll hopefully look better once they get it out take a look at it and all the other normal uh, m2 stuff that we have here was scaling although we can clearly see that it's uh, not the same size as that one over there and 2024 cast lines for people who are still interested 09024 15270r is our casting code so two for this year and the 90th day and then nothing else uh, you can see just there the alternator and the parts of other parts of the engine and so i do actually also have uh the hitch and toe i think it's the hollywood version of it which is uh like 50 percent more expensive than the regular hitch and toe and that's from green light not m2 i have never bought an m2 uh they have the uh, truck version with it or the I, I the deluxe version but uh, usually comes with some sort of a transport truck and a car and the reason for that is almost thirty dollars and the car they give you will not be from this m2 line so these are the deluxe versions it is closer to the auto driver so no opening hood no nothing and they actually charge you more than if you were just to buy the truck in the car separate so it's just not worth it anyway you can see that the gas cap nice and plainly visible on this other nova it is not although i don't know if they change the position and then you'll have to decide if you want good year written on the tires or not like i said this car didn't start out very well uh it looked really nice everything was almost perfect but then the wheels uh, i had to, i ended up taking them apart and fixing them uh, and then it turned out i think in an outstanding vehicle uh, no rear view mirrors but i mean you don't you can't get everything okay and so here we do see that it is a just wait for the sirens to die down uh styling cues some minor differences uh, and obviously you can see just the size difference as well these are both claiming to be 164 uh apparently cast line and uh, green light don't agree so it is really 71 i've done uh r81s in the past so just keep that in mind if you get them you get them fantastic as for the paint job yeah, like i said walmart is one of those things where you have to walk in and they just happen to have it on the shelf i'm not too sure how much i like or dislike this paint scheme but anyway let's cover the car because that's what everybody's here for so you have nova ss on the front it is mostly legible you can see there inserts for lights which is always fantastic uh like i said it's a cost cutting measure that one of the few first things that uh manufacturers will do is cut out inserts because just as an extra piece you gotta glue in has to be done perfectly every time uh the hood is rather plain and undecorated it is not like the nova ss in the background with the two air grills wipers painted on the windshield nice and clear and easy to see into the cabin a silver border along every edge of every window the lighter color on the top the lighter beige is not pearlescent it's just a high high gloss they call i mean the paint industry should know that and this is a pearlescent high gloss that is just a regular high gloss 
And lots of chrome. Not as much though, not as not much as those 50 cars, just, uh, just for the bumper, I guess, on the main side. There we have the Chevrolet racing flags. Wheels, more or less, you can see a little bit of plastic damage there. But at least for the most part, it appears that the Walt, the border of the Walt dials on the tires looks okay. Nice and round. Like I said, there's the gas cap. It says Super Sport on the rear end of that. And if I can read it, hopefully everybody else can. There you go, Super Sport. Camera is playing nice today. On to the back. And you have Nova SS on the top right, just on the right side of the rear. 1967 on license plate. It's always better to have something than nothing. Brake lights, not inserts, but just painted over the plastic. I said, yeah, it is. They're not inserts. Chrome running all the way down from the bumper. Nothing actually on the trunk itself, just on the back. And on to the right side, once again, Super Sport Chevrolet flag. And then that's pretty much it. And then we'll just see how much fight, like I said, always, there's always one door that fights you and then one that doesn't. Yeah, it's the left one for sure on this one. Eh, and there you go. Same color and slightly lighter than the roof. The door here, you can see here, is a little bit of a darker color. Steering wheel very low because obviously it's outsized. They don't want to make it too small. You can just see the plain basics of a dash. So far, so good. Can't complain too much. Like I said, the one thing that you're going to see right away is just how out of scale it is with the green light. Another tip, I've said this uh, uh, quite a few times, but it's until you've screwed it, sorry, you've stripped it, and I do a lot of laptop work, SSD work, and once you strip those screws, uh, nothing is pleasant anymore. Uh, you have to have special tools, patience, and the right amount of apathy to get them off. Uh, I did not, hopefully, thankfully destroy this. Unfortunately, you get nothing here except for 1967 Nova, however, it's literally written everywhere else on it. That is the Nova SS. And how does that measure? Like I said, it's still three years separate, but uh, the green light, I think, does a better job. Although you can see they are similar, they're not quite the same. And like I said, it is a rear-wheel drive car, so you have the differential transfer case, all that stuff. Uh, and in fact, in the green lights, I don't remember, the muffler. Neither out of the side, now out of the back. And obviously the green light does not have opening doors, so for a dollar fifty less, that's what you get. But so far this one's okay, looks okay. We'll pop the hood and see what's inside. Just do a little bit of a driving test. Rolls very well. Surprisingly, M2 sometimes don't want to uh, move because they don't have to. Right, so why bother? Or the wheels are not perfectly... Uh, we can see there the blue tint on the... Outside border of the wheel is done reasonably well, so that's nice. Little inserts there. And so finally the hood. Let's see what it's got. Like I said, we know that one over there has the uh, 396, not the top engine. For, I have a version with the 427 in it. Uh, I will be not thrilled if this hood does not open. It appears to be glued shut. I would have to dismantle the whole thing. Let's see. And that's really a disappointment. Uh, I was hoping that uh, because, like I said, and you can just see there I almost stripped it. So just trying to avoid that because it is just yeah. So you can see there it opens. This one just does not open. So that's kind of, you can see there the engine. Oh, I'm not looking correctly. You can just see there, the, these are the two rails. So that would be this. And it is not, does not want to open. I'm sorry, I'm, you just see here that the weird thing, the camera is not moving, it's Samsung moving the camera, stupid. Can't get it to focus, so we have there that's where, uh, unfortunately, I'd have to pop out the dash 
and then push that whole thing out. You see what Samsung is doing? There's absolutely no reason for this. I never had this with the Sony. Like, what is it doing? Like, it's a 3D impression. Uh, I don't know what to say. Anyway, uh, so unfortunately, this uh, Nova, you can see there, the engine's in there. But the hood doesn't want to open, and I don't want to use steel to do it. Uh, so I'm going to go try something. I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, popped it open. There we have it. There's the engine, like I said. Uh, unfortunately, I, th I do believe this is... Turbo fire looks a little bit different. I don't know if there's the little wings for the oil cooler on the side. But the engine does look decent. So there we have it. I think it is a 327 with the turbo fire. I'm just not 100% uh, sure. I believe the turbo fire oil cooler is more domish than... Uh, so this just might be the 327. Anyway, uh, other than that little... Uh, blooper with the non see and you can see there the hood doesn't want to uh, st and you see what they've done here is the the hood is two pieces so that there is glued to the top sorry the bottom of the hood uh, it's very different from some certain other green lights this doesn't appear to be a brand new casting it's a recasting uh, so I don't know if that's cheaper for them than just stamping the whole thing but that's what they do sometimes that thing breaks so the top here will move without the rest of the head moving. And so in order to avoid getting a headache, I am going to hopefully end the video right now. The Samsung thing is just weird. I don't know why it's doing it. Never had it before. I don't want to have it again. You see that, what it's doing? Anyway, I apologize for that. Someone's from Toronto doing the 1967 Chevy, Chevy 2 Nova SS Super Sport with some sort of an engine in it which I believe is a turbo fire or just the plain 327. Can't prove it. Comments below. Thanks for watching and to the next one.